Example two for section 3.4. This example is very, very important for you to know how to do. We're trying to use the intercepts to graph the equation. All right. Now, let me draw a little graph first. X, Y, one, two, three, four. Now, intercepts means where does it cross on the x-axis and where does it cross on the y-axis? That's intercepts. Where does the line intercept the x or the y-axis? To find out where they're going to cross, it's very simple. You just make one of the letters zero and then you solve for it. The other letter. So let me show you. The reason why I want to make x equal 0, because if x equals 0, there's x for 0 right there. And so whatever I get for my y, it's on that line. That's where it intercepts on the y-axis. So for right now, we're going to plug in x into our equation. So we're going to have 0 plus 2y equals 6. I'm going to divide by 2, so I get y equals 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. When x is 0 and y is 3. There. Now, now let's find what x will be when we make y equal to 0. So let me get a different color. Y, we're going to make y equals 0. So we have x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. x equals 6. x is 6 when y is 0. x is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And y is 0. So now I have a line. I graphed it. Easy as pi. All I had to do was make x 0, solve for y. Then I made y 0, solve for x, get my two points where they cross the intercepts, done.